If your teacher taught you cast diagrams, it's not looking good, Moi. Let me show you how we actually solve trig equations, not using rubbish diagrams that just go around in circles. So solve sawing 3x is sawing 48 degrees, where x is an angle between 0 and 180 degrees for 5 marks. Okay, this is actually a non-calculator paper. One mistake that students make is they cross off the signs and divide by 3. It's not how we should be doing it. The first thing you guys always need to observe is the angle and see, does that match with the range? The answer is no, okay? This range needs to be the same as the angle in the question. So we're going to times everything here by 3. We call that the modified range, okay? So we'll have 0, 3x, and 180 times by 3 is 540, okay? 18 times 3 is 54, right? And then just add a zero, might. All right, now, don't just cross off the signs, okay? Indicate that we are doing the inverse of both sides, all right? So 3x is 48 degrees. This is known as the primary value in solving trig. Now, there are some rules you guys just need to remember. Yeah, now they're very easy and they just come from the graphs, but you don't need to draw the graph every single time. I'd much rather though that you draw the graph than use the cast diagrams, yeah? That's just an L method. So, primary value, I'm gonna show you guys how we work out the secondary value. Now the secondary value for sine is gonna be the same thing every single time. For sine, you do 180 to take away the primary value. For cos, you do 360 take away the primary value, and for tan, you do 180 plus the primary value. Make a note of this, yeah? Save this video and take a picture, do whatever you need to do. These are the only three things you need to remember. And then once you've found these, you just add or minus 360 to get all the other values. So just to show you guys very quickly why this is the case. So here's your sine graph. When you do inverse sine of value, you get the first value, that's 48 in this case. So you have 48. That came from here. The other side is the secondary value. Now using symmetry, that's 180. This is going in by 48, so we're gonna go back by 48, which is why we do 180 minus the primary value. That's there. For cos, which looks like this, say you got 48, yeah, that doesn't look like 48. Just say that gave you 70, okay? Now you can see that the other solution would be over here. This is 360. So to get this value, which is the secondary value, this is in by 70, so in by 70 using symmetry. So 360 minus the primary value, that's over there. For tan, say you got 45, yeah, which came from one. The other solution's over here. This is 180, so you're going in by 45, in by 45, 180 plus the primary value, okay? But you don't need to keep drawing that graph, okay? Just remember how to work out the secondary value every single time. And one thing's for sure, do not draw a cast diagram. So that's my primary value. I'm gonna do 180, take away my primary to get my secondary. Okay, 180 minus 40 is 140, minus eight, 132. That's my secondary value. Now both of these are in the range. Remember the graph cycle every 360 degrees. So we're gonna take these and we're going to add 360 and see if it's still within the limit. So I'm going to take my 48 and I'm going to add 360 degrees. Well, they're both degrees. Uh, you don't need to write every time. But anyway, what is that? 408, right? Mate, 408 degrees. Now, is that a tertiary value? Uh, if you want to call it that, but you don't need to call that anything, okay? Um, and then with 132, if we add 360, would it be in the range? I think if you're in the, in the exam and it's non-calc, you should just do a quick check. So we have 2, 9, 4. Okay, it is, so that's good. So I guess you could just write that down, 492. Uh, the rest of them will not though, right? So 492, just remember that.
okay? This is in the range. So we have four values within the range, okay? Now, to find our x, we're then just going to divide all of these values by 3. Okay, uh, this is where it's just a bit tedious, right? But 3 goes into 4 once, with a remainder of 1, then 6, then this one. Uh, 3 goes into 13 four times, with a remainder of 1, so 44. Then uh, 3 goes into 4 once, with a remainder of 1, into 10 three times with a range of one, then six. Then into here, into four once uh, with a range of one, into 19 six times with a remainder of one, then into uh, 12 four times degrees. And you can see all of these solutions, these four solutions are now in our original range. But guys, the main part of this video is this. So important, it's gonna save you a lot of time yeah, all of my students do this, and they've all transitioned away from that rubbish cast diagram. So, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more further maths content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Nice one, Mike.